بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز دیو آپ سے جی نیوز گائز ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین مانیٹر پرومیتھیس ان گرافانا اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو مانیٹر اے ڈبلیو آر ڈیز پرومیتھیس ان گرافانا سو لیٹس بگن سو واٹ آئی ہیو ڈن لیٹ می نیویگیٹ ٹو مائی سینڈ باکس انوائرمنٹ دس از مائی سینڈ باکس انوائرمنٹ واٹ آئی ہیو ڈن آئی ہیو آلریڈی اسپن اپ پوسٹ گریس آر ڈیز فار یو گائز ٹو میک شیور دیٹ آئی شوڈ ناٹ ویسٹ یور ٹائم سو گائز ایز یو سی دیٹ آئی آلریڈی اسپن اپ دس اینڈ لیٹ می شو یو دا کانفیگریشن آف دس دس از دا انجن ٹین ڈاٹ ون ایٹین اینڈ دس از ویری ٹائنی پوسٹ گریس which I want to monitor in my Grafana. So uh, I'm able to connect with this guy. Let me show you that uh, with my local machine. So if I do curl uh, hyphen V and if I do telnet to this guy and I want to show you the connectivity 5432, uh, you see I'm able to connect and this is the connected. So that's it. As I told you, uh, what i have done usually i done i've created a repository for you guys and i have also included the uh, links in the repository as well to make sure that you should have uh, easy understanding regarding that so uh, this is the public repo i'm going to share the link with you guys so we are going to uh, use uh, prometheus uh, grafana so Pr uh, prometheus has a pull base model and what it does is going to connect with your RDS and it's going to pull the or scrape the matrix for you and for that it has different exporters and one of the exporters uh, which is open source and publicly available by Prometheus is the Postgres exporter and we are going to use that and everything is going to be in container and it is going to be a simple docker compose up hyphen D and you will be able to connect uh, with your RDS as I shown you I have the connect connectivity and we are going to visualize all the stuff in uh, Grafana so let's begin so this is my uh, endpoint of the RDS uh, as I told you this is the repository so what I have done uh, I have cloned the repository and you can clone that as well so if, if I navigate to this uh, directory you will see uh, two files so this is a very basic file uh, and this is the docker compose ml file so if you are on linux uh, you can use this docker compose installation of version 1 and version 2 but i am not going to cover this because uh, as you guys uh, now uh, docker desktop is available for all os windows uh, mac os and linux as well so you can try that so anyway i am going to uh, give you a little bit of explanation of docker compose ml file so in this uh, docker compose ml file we are going to use grafana latest version and we are going to mount the volume on our system so uh, why we are mounting to make sure that uh, the uh, dashboard we import uh, uh, we import uh, must be uh, must have persistent volume so uh, when you do docker compose uh, up and down every time or if you reboot your laptop and that dashboard is going to be available and it is going to be available on this port you can use any port then we are going to use Prometheus. This is the open source version of uh, Prometheus. I mean, you can see the detail regarding that. And we are going to use this uh, basic Prometheus.yml file. Uh, it is going to be mounted inside uh, our container of Prometheus. And we are going to use Prometheus exporter. Prometheus exporter, I'm using Betami Postgres exporter. Um, and the data source is that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm going, uh, I'm using that Bitnami is that, uh, and, and they maintain really uh, well regarding the uh, maintenance of uh, their containers. And but uh, as far as the documentation, uh, the good thing is that uh, Bitnami Prometheus exporter uses the same documentation as the open source version. So if I um, click this guy uh, regarding the detailed documentation, you can. Uh, click this uh, and um, have your I mean understanding if you want to customize your uh, configuration configuration file you can do that as well so uh, this is your custom uh, queries.yml they have already provided you can use that as well and if you want to disable some of the stuff or want to add environment variable or disable you can use uh, or you can re read the documentation but I'm not going to cover every step you know it's going to be too long but 
I just want to make sure that this video uh, must be uh, short to give you basic understanding, but it covers all the aspects you need. And we are going to uh, import uh, this dashboard uh, type um, Prometheus, Prometheus uh, Grafana, Grafana dashboard, right? So, so we are going to uh, click this and we are going to, um, uh, okay, let me see. This is the dashboard we are, uh, okay, this is not the dashboard, sorry. Uh, let me see some other dashboards. Uh, sorry, I uh, should type uh, Postgres. So uh, let me just remove this. And this is the one, uh, this is the dashboard we are looking to import. It is 9628. So guys, um, also I need to update you uh, regarding the other file. Uh, it is this one. So it is, it has the basic configuration, what you need. So uh, you don't have to do uh, much regarding that configuration. So this is the basic configuration uh, it needs. Um, and our uh, mounting is go off from Prometheus is, go is going to be on localhost on 1990. And we can also um, see the Postgres uh, exporter on 9187. So uh, what I've done, I've already cloned the repo and uh, everything I've already explained uh, with you guys. So if I navigate to this directory, so let me cd into this. If I do ls, you see the same repo is now available. And if I navigate to Postgres Grafana, so this is the same Docker uh, uh, Compose file I've already discussed with you. And uh, you see, this is the file I've already available in the public repository and same stuff here. So what you need to do, um, you need to simply do Docker Compose up hyphen D, uh, run this in a daemon mode. So I've already downloaded these images. So that's why it's created so quickly. In your case, it's going to download those. So if I navigate to uh, localhost, right? Localhost 9090, uh, I should be able to see my uh, uh, Prometheus and from here navigate to targets. Okay. Uh, it is down, which means uh, let me, okay, let me refresh it. So it means that AWS, uh, connectivity of RDS. In fact, uh, it will take some time. Uh, okay, yeah, it will take some time. Let it refresh and hopefully it is going to up. Now it is up. So straight away, uh, don't uh, uh, be, you know, uh, angry that it's not coming up. So it will take a little while. So it is now up and running. So if I navigate to localhost, uh, right, localhost 9187, uh, you will see this. And if you navigate, so this matrix slash matrix uh, is going to uh, scrape the matrix from that. So uh, just click it and wait for a while and you see matrix are available. And I want to show you the logs as well. If I do Docker Compose PS, uh, these are the container Docker, uh, Docker logs uh, of this guy and this. So you guys wondering how we can connect. So for the connected connectivity, simply use this guy data source. So um, this is the DB name. This is the password. What I use one two three four five six seven eight, and this is the RDS endpoint, and um, this is the DB connection. So you guys are more aware regarding the connectivity. So it is it is going to connect with uh, this guy, and you see it is able to connect with this. And then uh, what I'm going to do is the last, in the last step up, I'm going to uh, connect with this Grafana. So by default, the password is admin, admin, and uh, I'm going to log in with this guy. You can set any password, uh, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna skip this guy. I'm going to skip this. So uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to set uh, the data source. In data source, uh, click Prometheus and HTTP, uh, we are going to use the DNS name. The DNS name you can see from this uh, name. You can use this uh, DNS name from Mithya. Simply copy this guy and paste it here. So as you know, uh, the inside container is available on 1990. 
uh, save and test. So you see our data source is added. So we are going to import the dashboard. And as I told you, we are using the persistent volume. And uh, this is the dashboard. Uh, we are uh, going to import 9628, right? Load it. So it is available. And you can change the UUID, but it is not necessary. But uh, you can change it. And the data source select this Prometheus. And we are going to import this guy. So uh, you see some of the metrics. And I'm going to change this uh, from last minute, this. and uh, refresh it after um, 10 seconds. So you see, uh, we are able to see all the metrics in this uh, dashboards and, and it is now available on our local host machine. You see detail metrics, what we need uh, regarding our database is available uh, by using this simple Docker Compose file. So we have all the containers up and running. So let me show you that part as well. So Docker Compose, Yes, you see all our containers are running and it is going to scrape the matrix. You can see uh, from this slash matrix and uh, all these are up and running and we are able to view our required stuff on our local machine uh, from AWS. This is the endpoint we have provided in um, our uh, our Docker Compose YAML. So these are the simple setting uh, you need uh, to access uh, uh, your RDS as my RDS is publicly available. And um, uh, so that is why I'm able to connect with this guy. Let me refresh it. Okay, let me show you that part. So previously uh, that was not publicly available. So I just done, uh, you see, it is now refresh and it's saying publicly accessible. If it is not publicly available, you have to connect with VPN and you can connect uh, with your endpoint of RDS with that. So guys, uh, that is the short video. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Have a nice day and have a wonderful day. And um, in the last, if you uh, do Docker Compose up and down, uh, this, uh, dashboard is going to be restored in the volume uh, which i gave so this is the volume let me show you this part and if before leaving so docker if you type uh, let me zoom in a bit docker uh, um, volume right volume ls so you see this main part from here because this is the docker compose additional is added so grafana storage right so this is the grafana storage um, your dashboard should be available. So uh, that is it, guys. Have a nice day.